Michael Dell says he'll stay at his company even if his proposed buyout is voted down. The journal's Money Beat blogger, David Benoit, interviewed the PC billionaire. Dave, what did he tell you? Uh, well, one, that he's going to stay. One, that he's going to stay. <laughs> two, that uh, certainly... Hit the headline first right. before I introduce the guest. <laughs> uh, two, that even if he stays, this is, and this is important because as we're heading into the vote this week, he, he says he will not consider a leverage recap or selling assets if if he is to lose the buyout. Which is what Carl Icahn and Southeastern are right. pushing for. Pushing exactly, for. exactly. And a lot of shareholders have kind of said, well, maybe I don't want to sell out to Michael Dell at 1365 or 1375, whatever it winds up being, but maybe I'll stay on and hope for a kind of a dividend payment. But he says, no, you're either getting the buyout or you're getting nothing, so you'd have to side with Carl Icahn too. Okay, uh, now, speaking, there's actually some interesting stuff in your interview about the, the nitty-gritty of the deal in particular. To, to catch people up, the vote now, which has been pushed back, right. is happening Friday, yes. right? Tell As us, of right now. <laughs> tell us about 23%. Why is that number significant? So that's the number of shares that were not voted in the, uh, in the votes that were supposed to have happened so far. Okay. So that's, that's the number of shares that have not showed up. And right now, under the current rules, those would count as no votes against him. Okay. Meaning, essentially, he has to get a majority of all shares not just shares that are voted. So he in Silver Lake last week offered to pay a dime more per share if the rules would change so that only shares that are actually voted count. What what are the, what what is the prospect that the special committee Dell's special committee of board members would approve that change of the rules midstream here? So it's actually kind of unclear right now. We're we're kind of waiting on the special committee. They were supposed to have decided last week. Michael Dell and Silver Lake gave them until Friday now uh, to make up their mind. And and it kind of reports are that, that the first reaction by the special committee was, was not very happy with this offer to change the rules. And certainly Carl Icahn and Southeastern are banging down the doors saying, there's no way you can change the rules. You've got you to think if they did change the rules, they'd get sued. Yes, certainly. <laughs> They're going to get sued anyway. They're going to get sued no matter Whatever what, happens, really. They're in a tough spot. They've, they've really driven, you, you can argue, a pretty good process here. Right, exactly. Putting the company up for bids, seeking other offers, they didn't get any. Right. That's part of Michael Dell's argument, isn't right, it? Right, exactly. And, and, and in a lot of ways, this is why he offered this 10 cent bump. That the special committee has to decide whether changing the rules is worth 10 more cents. And if they can go to shareholders and say, look, we got you 10 more cents. It's worth it for the deal. Take the deal. Take the deal. All right. Dave Benoit, thanks so much. Thanks.